Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, I am going to show you how to start Odoo 17 service using the terminal and in case you missed previous discussion about how to configure Odoo 17 in macOS, please check link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the web lens. Under the home screen, you can see Odoo development playlist available. And once you click here, you can see different apps of playlist available with the different topic wise with the real test cases. Source code also available in the GitHub. Make sure you can follow that link. And one more thing is in our upcoming session, I'm going to show you Odoo 17, all the topics from the scratch. And here you can see this Odoo development. It's a mix of Odoo 14, 15 and 16. But now our new series I will also launch, which is Odoo 17 development. All right. And meanwhile, I will also cover the overall POS website and uh, which is not yet discovered all the topics I will try to cover. So stay tuned with me. If you didn't subscribe this channel, please subscribe. It will motivate me. So let's back to our main topic. So here first thing is, so I already cloned this version 17, right? In our last session, you can see here in the desktop, you can see this one, Odoo 17, which is the community version right now, I will show you. And first thing is how you can start Odoo 17 using the terminal. Might be you already know how to create Python virtual environment and inside the environment, how you can also set up Odoo, right? So in our previous discussion, I already created a virtual environment plus Odoo 17 setup, okay? So first thing is, I will try to active this Python virtual environment. Odoo 17 ENV being activated. And now you can see right now we are in virtual environment. And now once I will go to here and write Python, right? So if you are using a multiple Python versions, right? So don't worry because once you create Python environment, you already mentioned which Python you are going to use, right? So simple, I will use here Python 3.11. For your information, Odoo 17 is using the minimum Python 3.10. But here in our case, I'm using the little bit higher version, Python 3.11. 3.12 is also launched. You can also use that one. That is no worries, right? And so first thing is I'm going to the desktop Odoo. And once I click to LS, you can see here the default community add-ons and all the stuffs available here, right? I just clone from the GitHub. Now I'm going to use like Python. And once I click here, enter, so you can see the Python version, right? Let me exit from this terminal. And here I'm using Odoo task bin. Here guys, you have to remember one more thing. If you are using a multiple Odoo versions and different Python versions, right? So you don't need to use only like this python odoo task bin because right now in my case i'm also using and once i click here you can see it's already activated like this but i'm also getting some error right and here you can see by default it's using the dot rpc configuration file by default from my home directory all right so here you can see it's using odoo 15 add-ons path right in our case, we are using the higher Odoo version. So due to that, it's having the, some such kind of issues. Let's say the db underscore mono db, right? Here, the thing is, my advice is you can use add-ons path here in the terminal. Odoo add-ons and add-ons. So if you are going to here in the folder, right? So this Odoo under this add-ons, right? This is the base module of the Odoo. It's having a, all the basic models you can see here, including this test modules. And outside of this Odoo, you can see this main Odoo folder. And in this folder, you can see it's having a, all the community add-ons, right? So due to that, I'm using here this too, which is compulsory. Yeah, another thing is if you're using only add-ons, that is also fine. It will automatically use add-ons dash slash add-ons directory. But in our case, you are as a developer, so you don't need to forget about this too. All right. And here I'm using here 
my own Postgres user and password to interact with the Odoo. Okay, so for that I'm using minus W weblands minus R weblands. Right now you don't need to worry about this command, this command as well as this command. What is it, right? In our upcoming session, I will explain you everything. Once I enter, so here you can see some deprecation warnings available here, right? You can just ignore this one at the moment, but you can see here we are using the Odoo version 17.0. By default configuration file is in the home directory, which is o.odoo.rc, which is hidden file. If you are using Mac OS or the Ubuntu or any Linux operating system, in the home directory, you you can also see this file while you are running the Odoo service in your local system. Until unless you are mentioned the specific configuration file, it will use only that one. So this is the default one. Okay. Another thing is you can see here, this is the service name we have to use, right? And by default, 8069 is the port number to access this Odoo service. So for that, I'm going to here in this browser, I will use here, 8069 right and once i press the enter you can see it will redirect me in this main localhost slash web slash database slash selector and here we don't have any database so odoo automatically render this template and this is the master password right so this master password we have to save and we have to keep this password so while you create or let's say create a database or let's say restore the database or delete the database you need this master password and that master password requires here so by default it is this one so this is the first time you are configured during that time it will automatically available this password message otherwise we have to manually write down this password okay here i'm using like odoo 17 underscore test I'm using here email as a admin, as a user, password is a user, right? So here I'm going to add also password, the phone number it is required, the language, and here I'm using the India as my country. And I will also select the demo data. So once I will click to this demo data, it means like while I will use any applications, any modules in the Odoo, it will automatically also create some dummy data for me. So once I click to here the create database, it will create a new database in the Postgres side, which name is the Odoo 17 underscore task. Okay. So right now I'm using the Safari browser and in the Safari browser version 17, uh, having this kind of issue. So if you are using the Safari, please switch to the another browser. So here I'm going to use the Chrome browser, right? Let's say the local host 8069 admin and password is also admin. And now you can see it's redirect to the app store. So this is the fresh database we created, right? Now I'm going to in the settings, I'm going to down and I will try to active the developer mode. And now you can see the module name is display here okay right now i'm trying to install the contact module so you can see it will automatically redirect to this into the home screen in the discuss application right and once i will go to here so those are the main applications right so sales related crm related stock related you cannot see here the stock related different modules but in the sub modules you can see stock related modules so here you can see only the applications module and once you remove the filter you can see all the modules right and please guys remember we are using the community version so here you can see such button right upgrade like this so those are supported in the enterprise version which is the paid module. If you have access, it's good. You can use that add-ons path also. If you want to use any specific module, you can just install. So you can just click to this active and it will automatically install the module. So if you are going to the backend side in the terminal, you can see the dependent 
modules automatically install you can see the portal digest payment right the analytic the product those are the modules so resource onboarding so those are the modules right and it's automatically installed in the back end side and it, as a front end side you, you can see the progress and once done it will refresh the odoo page and it will redirect to the first menu the first menu is the discuss menu here and now i'm going to in the contact and if you remember we already while we create this database the new database right we tick mark the load demo data so those are the demo data you can see here here you can see this is the kanban view this is the list view this is the activity view okay so once i'm going to here you can see the form view you can see the tabs the chatter part right in the configuration you can see different predefined preloaded data also available here not only the contact but in the cells the invoice product report right in the report you can see like this then after the dashboard invoicing the link tracker and this is the main settings for the admin user all right so i hope you have a good understanding about how to active odoo service using the terminal right like this how to install the existing modules from the community using this app store you can also add your own apps in this app store i will also explain how you can also register our custom add-ons right modules in the app store i will show you in our upcoming session all right and the last one like we already learned like how we can create a new database all right so if you have any doubt related this topic please comment below and see you in our next session and our next session would be how you can introduction about the cli commands